Oh, now, y'all already know what time it is. Say, check me out, man. Five star, my story, man. Y'all already know what to do, bro. Hit that like and hit that subscribe button. And when you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that bell notification. All, bro. Look, make go check y'all status, bro. Go check y'all status and make sure y'all status is on all. Not personalized, not sometimes, not maybe, all. You hear me? So anytime I drop a video, you'll be notified. ASAP Rocket. Because I'm dropping them. Y'all probably just ain't getting notified. That's it. You hear me? Y'all got y'all gotta make sure y'all get notified to watch my videos, bro. Support the kid. That's all I'm asking. Yep. It's it's two choices in life that you're gonna get. Okay? Or it's two choices in life that you're gonna make. Okay? It's either a good choice or a bad choice. That's it. Ain't no in between. Ain't no uh let me think about it on some shit. Maybe I shouldn't go this way. It's like a little wreck right here. Oh, wait. My fault, y'all. Look. Look at this. I, I don't know what happened right here. But I was about to turn down that little road right there, but I like that shit over. So, you know what I'm saying? It ain't no, it ain't no like. It ain't no let me think about it when it come down to a good and bad choice, okay? The most powerful thing that we have as human beings is what I like to call free will. Free will is something that the Most High gave us. It's something that he gave us, but he knew the consequences to it, right? Now, you could do good and there's still consequences to it. You can do bad and of course there's going to be consequences to it, right? But the thing is, you could do good. You could do good by somebody, bro. You could do good, you can mean well, you can, you know what I'm saying, try to help somebody out, bro. You could uh, you know what I'm saying, give them a shoulder to cry on, you give them a place to stay, give them a, you know what I'm saying, a bed to lay in, little hot, little hot meal and shit, you feel me? And motherfucker take that for granted. You feel me? Or you could be on some like, bro, I can't even mess with you on that type of timing. You feel me? I, I'm I'm standing on my ground, I'm standing on 10, and this is what I believe in, and, and I'm just not gonna help you. And you know that that might not have been the right choice either. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, that was a free will choice. You made a choice off of either it was gonna be a good or a bad decision. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And and that's probably one of the most powerful things that we ever had in life. Free will. Free will is something that'll get you caught up without you even know it, knowing it. And it might get you caught up spiritually because you could be on this world, on this earth, living your best life. And I ain't talking little Duval, you feel me? You could be out here living your best life, but not understanding the consequences that you're making. I see this every day, right? From people that I love, from people that I don't even know. Free will. The first choice you always gonna wanna make is a bad choice. Especially when you ain't got no home training, right? Home training just basically mean like, like, your mom and your dad and my was teaching you, but you weren't listening. So you didn't get good home training. You was just out here doing dumb shit. You were just wilding, you feel me? You didn't get no good home training, bro. Right? Or you might have got good home training. Right? But you, but, you, but you fell in love with something else. And it changed you. Right? We don't all start out like that, bro. Something always changes you. Okay? And that's when free will comes into in play. Right? See, free will starts at a young age, like something like this. You and your little girl chilling, you feel me? You and your little now nah, matter of fact, let's go, let's let's bump it down, let's bump it a little younger, right? You and your partners, you know what I'm saying? Y'all chilling and shit. You know where the candle lady stay at. You only got enough money to get, you know what I'm saying, a little bit of something, but you know you want your mans to eat, you feel me? So what y'all do? Y'all finesse the candy lady, bro, till she get you something. As soon as she turn her back, boot, you go in there and you going to take something from your mans, you feel me? Your kinfolk, your homie, your partner, your dog, you feel me? That was the first free will moment. Okay? When you were young, you were excited than the mother running from the candy lady because you didn't got the candy. <laughs> hey, boy, I got you that pickle, man. Hey, yeah, boy, I got the hot Cheeto with the cheese in it, boy. So now it became the choice like, now it was that easy to do it. Should we do it again? That's a free will choice. Okay, you know, you don't know the consequences just yet because you young. That's why I started out at a young age, right? Usually motherfuckers young. When you young, you stealing out the candy lady house, right? And then it graduates. You hear me? Then you might be, you and your partner might see a bike or two on the side of the road or whatever. You feel me? Little kids 
at, at their partner house, you feel me? I'm going to tell you one of the most valuable bikes growing up was a mongoose with pigs, boy. If you don't know what a mongoose is, you sleep. You bet not have your mongoose outside. I wouldn't even get fucked. That bitch didn't have no pigs on it. But if it had pigs, it's more valuable. You hear me? A mongoose with pegs, boy. Boy, your bike was getting took. Your bike was getting took. You hear me? So, that was that was the next thing from a free will choice as a youngin. Because stealing was probably one of the first things that we started doing as youngins. Stealing. You thought it was cool, right? But at the end of the day, because you weren't getting caught, right? That's a free will choice, though, that you that you started to make. You see what I'm saying? Everybody has to understand that we all have free will choices, right? Oh, this, this door ain't even open. Damn, that kind of made me mad. Right? So we all got free will choices, and it all depends on what you want to do. All right? Now let's jump into a little older. All right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let me back it up. Let me back it up because that store was closed. It had blue. It had kind of took my train of thought, right? All right. So that was the bad decision, right? Right? The, the uh, consequences is you get caught. You feel me? Like, shit. You never know. You feel me? But when you decide, like, nah, I ain't trying to steal from the candle lady. But all your partners stealing from the candle lady, they going to look at you like you lame now. Right, I oh, mean, it do lame it for him on no type of timing we on, bro. He he scary, bro. He ain't even trying to grab no hot Cheetos or nothing, bro. I had to steal it for him, bro. Now you get labeled as lame. Now you get labeled as this. Now you get labeled as that. Next thing you know, peer pressure comes, bro. Cause them your partners, them your homeboys, these your day ones, these the dudes you grew up with. This is all you know. You feel me? Now these same dudes you kick it with every day. Y'all play the PlayStation. Y'all play football and basketball and every every extra activity y'all do that, right? They calling you lame and shit. You feel me? Now you don't know what to think and peer pressure come in and guess what you end up doing? You end up doing it. You hear me? You end up doing it. But what is that called though? Free will. Because you had a choice to be like, man, I don't, man, I don't care about none of that. Why I be lame? What I be lame, but I ain't tripping off that boy. You feel me? But that was free will though. You hear me? Free will is powerful, more powerful than what you think, bro. Right? Way more powerful than what you think. Alright? Now, you get a little older, you and your little yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all chilling. You wanna have sex. Right? Both of y'all wanna have sex. Alright? At a young age. I'm not sitting there promoting it like, yeah, go ahead and hunch on them. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, you lose your innocence. All right? And that's the only thing. Your innocence, bro, is something that I feel you shouldn't just be giving out like that. Like, like when you, especially when you young, bro, when you young and you a virgin, like, hold that down. You feel me? And I'm not saying to marriage or some shit like that. Like, nah, that's, that's. That's some other shit, you feel me? But find you somebody, bro, like, that that really care about you, bro. And that's kind of hard nowadays to just be like, oh, this person care about me, you know what I'm saying? Right? But that's the free will we have. Be able to have sex with whoever we want. That's free will right there, okay? But what's the good and the bad in, 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 in having sex, kid? With the free will, I'm about to tell you. So let's say... You with somebody. The the female that you with is like, nah, like I'm scared. I don't want to have sex, right? Okay. You like, all right. Now you have a good or a bad decision to make. Do you stick with this girl? Stick by her side? Stick to the decision that she made? Respect the decision that she made and rock out with her? Or do you make that bad decision and you go cheat? Hmm? Hmm. That's tough. I know it. But that's the free will. That's the good and the bad. You see what I'm saying? That's the decision that you have to make. You see what I'm saying? And the crazy thing is, a lot of times, a lot of guys is going to go with that with their first move. And that's the bad move. And they're going to go cheat. I'm guilty by association of that. You see what I'm saying? And the thing is, is but, but here goes the bad though, right? You could cheat. 
once you cheat, whoever you with, they boring now. You're not even trying to mess with them no more like that. Everything they talking about is boring. Everything. Now you just chasing that high of having sex. Oh, and don't let it be like when you when you just not getting into it. Oh man. Oh man. It's a rap. It's it's a rap. For real. And the craziest thing about it was that was a free will choice. Because this is gonna continue and continue and continue, right? Why this person over here being loyal to you, you over here being a dog. And here come the coldest part about it all, right? The person who decided, you know what, I want to just save, I want to, I want to, um, I want to save myself, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to have sex right now. They took, they took a, a, the free will a good way. You took it the bad way, right? You get caught cheating. The person who decided to take the good route still hurting. That's why I say either, even though it's a good or a bad choice that you make, it's still reap, uh, reap. It's still bad things that can happen. Don't try to get on here and say repercussions. That's that, that whatever, I want, whatever I want to say. <laughs> repercussions, bro. It's repercussions to either good or bad. Because you could have been like, nah, like I ain't trying to have sex. Woo woo. You feel me? Even if you was alone and you been having sex, you, you would have looked, yeah, you feel me? Nah, I ain't trying to have sex right now. You know what I'm saying? Woo woo. You, you, you took a good route with the free will. And you still got back though. And you still got cheated on. You cheated. Right? You got caught cheating. Now you single. You think that shit cool. Your karma came back around, and the person that you found that you really love did you the same way you did that girl. Did did you the same way you did Kimfo? <coughs> I spit that shit out. You see what I'm saying? <clears throat> it's always it's always consequences to everything that you do, whether it's good or bad. Okay. Now let's say you get a little older. You graduated high school. You know what I'm saying? You're doing your thing. Right? You working. But while you working, you run into some people. And they introduce you to drugs. Right? It's always that I'm, that I'm telling y'all, bro, that free will of motherfucker. Right? Because your free will is tingling now. Like Pat Mahone when he be in the huddle. Pat be like this. You hear me? Your free will is tingling. What should I do? Should I make a good decision or a bad decision? Right? They introduce you to drugs. Okay? Not everybody going to take that bait. I was one that took the bait. Now, when I first started smoking, I was smoking with my partners or whatever. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I was smoking with my partners. Let's jump back. Let's say you a teenager. Okay? And now your peoples who you, you was kicking it with, right? Them same dudes you was stealing from the candy store with. Them same dudes you was stealing bikes with, right? Them same dudes you went to middle school with. Now y'all in high school. The drugs are coming to play. Yeah. The drugs are coming to play and gunplay is going to come into play. It's just going to happen, bro. Now you either got a good or a bad free will choice to make. Okay. Let's say you dive into it right with them. Right? Everything has consequences in life. Because you can fuck around and start smoking. It always start out with weed. It always be weed. The weed is always the weed at first. You hear me? So, within you smoking with these boys, you hear me? Y'all gonna graduate in life. All right? Y'all gonna be smoking the pack, and then one of your partners might start popping pills. He might start popping sticks, perks, Zans, whatever, X Pip, whatever. You know what I'm saying? And then he'll introduce it to the whole group, to the whole gang, to the whole body. You feel me? And then one by one, y'all all gonna start fucking with it. You hear me? But then before you know it, a couple of y'all 
don't look the same like I used to back in the day. A couple of y'all then started getting on real harder drugs like heroin, crack, not crack. That was like the 80s. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to say, I ain't going to put crack on nobody. You hear me? But like heroin, meth, like, it, like, what y'all think I'm playing? Did that not happen to me? Oh. Oh, okay. But at the end of the day, those are decisions you made. Because you could have started out smoking weed, bro. Then all of a sudden, you you and your people just start popping pills. Now all of a sudden, motherfuckers start introducing you to weird ass drugs like acid, heroin, shrooms, crystal. You hear me? And then next thing you know, your ass on the side of the road with a sign. Leftovers of food too. I don't think y'all heard me what I said. What I said, bro. I don't think I don't think y'all be hearing me, bro. I think y'all think I just be talking just to talk, right? Think about what I just said, bro. Leftovers of food, but it all started because you started smoking. And that don't go for all smokers. You can start smoking and that's all you do is smoke. Honestly, I'd be proud of it. Because you didn't you didn't go that next step to go and pop the pills or whatever. You had your free will was stronger than that when it came down to the other drugs. Nah, bro, I don't man, what? But we just smoking gas right here, boy. We don't do that other stuff, boy. You tripping, boy. You hear me? Now let's double back to the one. Who made that good choice from the free will? All your partners, y'all smoking and shit. Oh, you know, they, they introducing you to the smoke. You, nah, I'm good on that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I'm playing football. I'm playing basketball. I'm running track. Whatever you're doing, you know what I'm saying? I'm on the swim team. I, I'm, I'm on the tennis team. Whatever you're doing, you trying to get that scholarship. You got good grades. You trying to do this. You trying to do that. You hear me? And then, your people to be like, ah, oh, this nigga lame, bro. Like, man, what the fuck? You feel me? And they not gonna they not gonna direct it to you. They not gonna say it to you and be like, bro, this nigga lame, bro. They gonna say it behind your back, bro. But you gonna feel that energy, right? You gonna feel that energy, and because you made that choice of no, nah, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna rock with y'all that way. I'm not gonna do this. I'm not gonna do that, right? The consequence would be you losing those friends. Now that's not a bad consequence. Right, but at that time, whatever whatever space in mind that you in, those was your day ones. You didn't. You probably the type of person who don't mess with nobody. Those people right there was your day ones. But all of them smoking now, all of them doing this, and you not trying to be a part of that, and they distance themselves from you because you not trying to be a part of that. But that was the consequence that you that you decided when you decided to take that goodwill. I mean, that good free will. You feel me? When you decided, nah, I'm not going to do that, bro. I'm going to do my own thing. And they X you out. And now you just solo dolo. In your mind, the consequence right then and there would be, damn, I lost all my day one friends. But I'm not trying to do what they do, bro. Well, fuck it. I just lost friends. You see what I'm saying? Everything come with consequences. Everything. And everything come with repercussions. Everything. Right? Everything. Let's say later on in life, you end up getting a job, right? Now, you've been smoking the pack. <coughs> you've been doing this with your peoples or whatever, you feel me? Every job you get, don't drug test you. You're not even worried about no drug test. You all in Popeye's smoking gas. You all in McDonald's smoking the gas. Didn't you live that, kid? Why, yes. Yes, I did. But then later on in life comes and God's try and God try to bless you with a good paying job. Something that's gonna take care of your family for life. Oh, so you gotta piss in this cup. You could get away with it by going to get you fake piss. But then what if they hit you with this? We need you to do a hair test. Now what? Ooh, it came back on you, didn't it? That's crazy, huh? You see what I'm saying? But those are decisions 
that we make for from free will. See, free will is a motherfucker. Free will can either get you caught up or free will will spare you in life. But at that time, you feeling like I should have just went with my move and did it. But you didn't do it. And it'll benefit you later on in life. But you might lose a couple people on that journey. But that's why we was able to have free will. It's a free will to worship the Lord. And it's a free will not to. Everything in life is choices. Everything. And either it's going to be good or it's going to be bad. But regardless to whatever you do in life, you have to understand. You're going to have to make a choice. Regardless of whatever you want to do, you're going to have to make that free will choice. Now, whether it's good or bad, it's on you. And then you're going to have to deal with what comes after that. Let's say later on in life you get older and you have kids. You done raise your kids, your kids did right. You done already went through your free will trials and tribulations. And now you got kids. And now they got to go through the same thing that you went through in life. But maybe just a little bit different. My mom had kids at a young age. I had kids at a young age. I damn near lived the same life my mama lived. Damn near. Except she wasn't on drugs like I was. When your kids get older and they start making choices on their own, that's when you start to see their free wills. Let's say you have a child and that child gets bad off on drugs. You trying to help that child and they and they don't want no help. They don't want no part. They they lying to you. They keep doing the same stuff over and over again. But that was a free will choice that they made. understand once you make that choice it ain't no going back on it only thing that's gonna happen is life after you get your consequence then you can try to change but it ain't no changing in between i don't think i ever seen it it's always been something that happened to somebody that made them change because as a parent your free will choices would be this. The good or the bad. The good would be like, all right, come on. Let's help you get off of whatever you want. I got you a room in here. You come, shower, eat. Your kids stand with us. Whatever the case may be. You stand with us. Whatever the case may be. Your boyfriend can stay. Whatever the case may be. That was that parent with the free will mind saying, like, you know what? I'm going to do the right thing. I'm going to take my child in, make sure my child good, and I'm going to try to help my child get off drugs. But the consequences to that is your child taking advantage of you because they know they can do whatever they want to do. You're not allowing it, but at the end of the day, you're allowing it. And they know that. And they take advantage of that. You hear me? Now let's go to let's go to the bad decision. Let's go to you saying, you know what? Nah, I'm good. I, I, I can't have you at my house no more. You feel me? Every time I try to help you, you don't want the help. So now guess what? You're on your own. There's consequences to that too though. Because just like you know, I know. Anything can happen. You get that phone call saying they in jail. You get that phone call saying they homeless. You get that phone call, I ain't got no food. 
I ain't got no clothes. But let's go to your free will choices. Because I gave you an opportunity to change, but you didn't want to. You took everything that I gave you as a joke. The whole time I was helping you, it was a joke to you. But now that you ass out, now you need my help. And you will feel bad for it. But you can't. You already, you already gave an extended hand to somebody who didn't even deserve it nor wanted it. But it's crazy how when people get in those type of situations, the moment you could be sitting up here like, come on, let's get right, let's do this, let's do this. They don't want to hit it. But the moment they get jammed up, the moment they in a situation they can't handle, the first person they call on is the same people who had their back that they was pushing out. But that was your free will choice. Did y'all get that? Because that was powerful, bro. That, that was powerful, bro. Let me repeat it one more time. You will sit up here and give your last leg, your last, the shirt off your back to somebody who don't either deserve it or want it, bro. And those people not even going to fuck with you until out the blue, they get in a situation they can't handle. They get in a situation they can't maintain. They get in a situation that they don't know what to do. And the first person they going to run back to is that same person who they didn't give no fucks about. That same person who they, who, who, whenever the, you gave them an extended hand, bro, they didn't want that. They're going to run back to the same person who was there for them at the beginning. Because that was their free will choice. See, people like that, they listen to their friends before they listen to the people who really love them. But then when they get in a situation, like a sticky situation, they'll go to their friends and their friends wouldn't even care about that shit. Oh, I ain't got no help for you. I can't do this. I can't do that. But let me know when you ready to get high though. And now you in a sticky situation and guess who you call? Them same people you pushed out. Them same people that tried to help you but you got in an argument where you kept yelling at them. The same people you, you was talking about. You feel me? The, those, those same people you gonna call them, bro. But what happened when you call them and they don't pick up their phone? What happened when you call them and they tell you you gotta deal with it on your own? And you crying to them, I need help. But you was just at their house living, bro. But everything good, though, while you in the streets, right? That's tough. But that's a free will choice. And sometimes you just got to let motherfuckers live with their free will choice, bro. Because motherfuckers thinking shit's sweet. Motherfuckers running around and be like, shit's sweet. And they made that choice. But at the end of the day, the choice that you made... Sometimes it ain't the best choice. But that's why God gave us free will. We're not perfect. Ain't nobody perfect. I done made bad choices too. Half of everything that I just said, I've lived it. It was me. I had to go through that. I had to learn. You can't teach you can't teach somebody nothing unless you went through something in life. How can you teach somebody something you never been through in life? Can somebody answer that for me? Understand, bro, you got to go through something to learn something, bro. And when you learn it, shut it. Don't be stingy. You got to get a game to somebody. This is how I'm giving the game out through my YouTube channel. Understand what I said today. Free will is one of the most powerful and dangerous things we ever got in life. Free will. 
something that you don't even think about. Something that never probably crossed anybody's mind. It might have, but it ain't really just crossed your mind like money would, like a house would, like a car would. Free will. Something that you control every day. Free will. Do you want to wake up and go to work or not? You got a choice. You could do that. Free will. Do you want to take care of your kids or not? That's a choice. You can do that. Free will. You want to be a bum or not? That's a choice. You can do that. Free will. Do you want to do you want to worship the most high or not? That's a choice. You can do that. Understand what I'm saying, bro. Free will is one of the most dangerous things we ever got in life. To make your own choices. Because it's hard to do the right thing. But it's easy as hell to do the wrong. Look, man, we don't ask for three things, man. Guidance, knowledge, and wisdom, bro. And if it ain't that, man, I already know what time it is with me over here. <coughs> Y'all know I'm recovering from this cold, so don't, don't, don't judge me. Let me start that over. Look, man, we don't ask for three things, man. Guidance, knowledge, and wisdom. And if it ain't that... Man, I already know it. Time it is with me over here. Till next time. Oh, now. Man, I appreciate everybody who's been rocking my videos, bro. I appreciate everybody who's been just, man, subscribing, commenting, liking, supporting the channel. I wonder how many of y'all watch my videos and when I start doing the Goddess Knowledge and Wisdom War now, like, I wonder how many of y'all do it. If you really rocking with me, you feel me? I ain't gonna lie. If you watch my videos, like, every time I drop a video, I guarantee nine times out of ten, bro, you hit the hell. You hit the hell. I'm just keeping it a bean, dog. <laughs> y'all have, have a blessed day, man. Ten toes on they neck. Like, this was... Look, we ten toes on they neck. Like, this was... Don't be a menace to society while drinking gin and juice in the hood or however you pronounce that one. I'm just keeping it a bang, dog.